What's up guys, Hopeless Dragon here with another little video. Uh, today I'm just going to be going over all the uh, new vampire cards. Um, went ahead and just ordered them all. There's uh, 33 cards total there. Got a pretty good deal. Uh, got them all from Japan from a seller that uh, I think told me I think it was about 48 bucks for all of them with shipping. So it uh, really wasn't too bad. Was thinking about getting a box because I am interested in like everything from uh, the set pretty much. But... I uh, just went ahead and ordered these for now, just so I'd have all of them right now and could go ahead and use them, because they are uh, really awesome looking. And, um, I think the quality is even kind of a little bit better on the Japanese cards than ours. But anyways, this is uh, Al Dampier, the Vampire Sheraton. Um, amazing artwork. I uh, kind of wanted to get a secret one, but uh, it was quite a bit more, so I was just like, eh, just get three ultras. So, uh... I have those, and also I'll be having a deck profile of these guys up. Might do a few more uh, Japanese deck profiles to get a few more Japanese cards, um, because they have a lot better prices on stuff than ours, and uh, they also have a lot better rarities. Um, but yeah, anyways, this guy, if you don't know what he does, uh, if you have one of your opponent's monsters, um, it can be treated as level 6 for the seed summon him, so it's pretty cool, because a lot of the new stuff steals your opponent's monsters. Also, you can detach material from him, target card your opponent controls, sent to the graveyard. And then also if a monster on the field is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being stored by battle, you can detach material to special on that monster to the field in defense. So a lot of good stuff going for him. Um, yeah, like I said, I just ordered three of all of them, even though you don't even use all of them in the build um, I'm running, but I just wanted to have three of all of these cards. And uh, again, like I said, they really look nice take one out for each of these so you guys can kind of see them up close if you're interested uh this is uh vampire red baron i do believe yeah um this guy is the one that you can pay a thousand and then target monster your opponent controls and uh one other vampire monster controls switch control of them and then all the uh new like Level 5 or higher vampires share the effect that at the end of the battle phase, if uh, they destroy the monster by battle, during that battle you can special summon it from the graveyard, well, special summon as many monsters from the graveyard that they destroyed, uh, to your side of the field. So, it really helps making Aldon Pier. So, yeah, three of those. Then we got uh, probably the best one um, of the new vampires, besides Aldon Pier, is uh, Vampire Scargolet. Uh, this guy, pretty much whenever he's normaled, um, not normal or special. You can pay a thousand life points to target a vampire monster in your graveyard and then special summon it, but it can't attack. And then he shares that other same effect. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, three of the new ones. Which now the vampires pretty much focus uh, a little more on rank sixes. Um, I do still run one of the old vampire um, Bram, but yeah. Again, amazing artwork on all these. The detail, really nice, really. Like these. Um, then we got Vampire Grimson. Uh, Grimson is. He's alright. <laughs> he looks pretty cool, but uh, I don't really run him. You can pay a thousand life points for each one of your monsters so that be destroyed by battle or card effects to protect it. Um, then he shares the other additional effect. But he is level 5. Um, I was teching one in, but decided to cut him out of my final build. Which, like I said, I'll have that up. But again, the artwork looks absolutely amazing on this card. But, or three, just because I want it. And uh, then, probably my favorite of the new vampires, uh, Vampire Fraulein, because uh, she's like new waifu material. <laughs> Absolutely stunning, especially you can see that the eyes glow red when you go through there. Yeah, amazing with stuff. And then, got the attribute and stars hollow. Yeah, it looks really good. But uh, she's got three effects. Um, the first one is like if. A zombie monster, is it a zombie? No, it's just if a monster declares an attack, you can special summon her from your hand in defense, which she's got a pretty big booty. And then also you can pay multiples of 100 up to 3,000 to have a zombie monster gain that much attack and defense. Um, so that way it's big meter and uh, combos well with one of your other cards and let you go. It's pretty much like an injection fairy lily for zombies, but for any zombie, not just herself. And then also uh, she also destroys, uh, not destroys, but shares the same effect that if uh, they destroy monsters by battle during the end of the battle phase, you can summon it. But yeah, amazing artwork. I like the shadow of the umbrella there. Um, 
little vampires around and how the eyes glow. It's really awesome. Yeah, so then we got three of those as well. And we got Vampire Brood, um, which is your spell and trap searcher for your vampires. You can pay 500 life points. Um, well, it's normal or special, I do believe. Um, no, it's only when special summoned. You can pay 500 life points to add a vampire spell trap from your deck to your hand. And then also uh, this and the other searcher vampire, which is your vampire familiar. They both share the second effect that lets you, um, if they're in the graveyard, you can send a vampire card from your hand or face up on your side field to the graveyard, especially summon it, but then it's banished during the invade. Wait, no. It's banished when it leaves the field. So, uh, I'll take one of those out too if you guys want to see that closer. Pretty much like some kind of vampire wolf, like, it's like half of them's kind of like a demon or something. Looks really cool. And then vampire brood which is i mean not brood vampire familiar which is your monster searcher you can pay 500 with special search monster and then same additional effect uh it's pretty much just like a little bat <laughs> yeah so that's it for the new vampire monsters then on to the vampire spells we got triple vampire desire uh, it's kind of like a Foolish Burial and a Monster Reborn, kind of in two cards. Well, I mean, in one card. Uh, the first effect lets you send a vampire from your deck to the graveyard with a different level than one you control. So, this helps set up the graveyard. And then the second effect lets you target a monster, well, a vampire monster in your graveyard. Send a monster you control to the graveyard and special summon that target. So, if you still want your opponent's monster, you send it to the graveyard, special summon a vampire from the graveyard. They have special summon your, um... Oh... Sheraton? No. Scarglet. Yeah. We can special summon this guy, you can special summon another one, and make more plays. So, a lot of good stuff going on. So, yeah. Three of those. Again, awesome artwork, which, I mean, it shows the same dude on there. Or that. No, that's not all down here. That's Scarglet. So, yeah. You can special summon him, which is the best one, I think. That's why they have him on there. And also, all the bats coming off, which are all the uh, familiars. Looks really awesome. And uh, then probably the best new spell, well, there's only two of them, but the better one of the two, in my opinion, is um, Vampire Territory. Let me get it out of here. Uh, this is the card that lets you pay 500 to gain an additional normal summoner set of a vampire monster. And also, uh, whenever a vampire would inflict damage to your opponent, you gain life points equal to the battle damage they took. So it works really well with your Fraulein. So you boost up your guys, beat over stuff, and gain a whole lot of life points, which is really nice. Or if they attack into one of your guys, uh, you can boost it up, and same deal. But uh, yeah, that artwork is awesome. You got Grimson back there. So yeah, three of those. Uh, then we got the counter trap for these guys, which is pretty much like their own Infernity Barrier, but it's once per turn. Um, negates a spell trap or monster effect and then destroys that card. And then if it's a monster, you get to gain life points equal to that monster's attack. So that's really, really good. And that artwork is absolutely stunning. I like the glowing eyes on Brood and uh, glowing mouth and everything. And Alton Pier back there, got like one glowing eye and stuff. Yeah, really amazing artwork on this. They really, really did a good job on the artwork for these new cards. Like I said, uh, didn't want to wait, so just went ahead and ordered them all from Japan. And I mean, you can't use them in tournaments here, but if you're playing with your friends or something, it's perfectly fine. Uh, then we got our next card, which is Vampire Wake. Uh, kind of simple card, but it's pretty good. This lets you special summon a vampire from your deck and then destroy during the end phase. It's got uh, Fraulein back there. Again, stunning artwork on all of these cards. And three of those. One of them stick or something. Yeah, it's stuck in one of these. Yeah. Yeah, three of those. Even though I don't run three, I can only run one of my build. Uh, like I said, just ordered three of everything just to have them. And then also I ordered some uh, vampire suckers just because uh, even though we'll be getting her in the, the next set. 
just wanted to go ahead and have them and uh she works really well with the new stuff actually makes it a little better because uh you can chew your opponent's zombie monsters but she can special summon a monster from your opponent's graveyard and um she does something else too i can't remember her second effect but um well she has three effects but uh, I can't remember the other effects off the top of my head, but yeah, pretty good card. Again, really nice artwork. Very <laughs> lewd little vampire girl. Uh, anyways, there was the uh, picture of, well not really picture, but a little overview, a little look at the new vampire cards. Um, even though she didn't come out in the other new set, I ordered her anyways. Like I said, I will have a deck profile on these guys coming out here for long. So uh, anyways, this random little video something new like i said i might uh, start doing this whenever some new stuff comes out i want to have it right away if i really enjoy it or just uh i might pick up some more japanese stuff just because i really like it anyways uh here's a short little video as always thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all later